Making a design in AutoCAD is more than just drawing lines and circles. It's a complex process that's been developed so that we can create complex designs. One of the keys to efficient CAD work is to organize your data in a way that you and others can retrieve it and understand it. Model space is meant to be a three-dimensional area where you can draw and create your design. Your design needs may not include three-dimensional models, but only two-dimensional, and that's okay. Regardless of how many dimensions your design requires, the model for it belongs in model space. Let's look at some examples. Let's open up the dimension example drawing. This is an example of a two-dimensional model. Go to model space. The only thing here is the line work. We have the outside line for the bracket, the circles, the slot, and their center lines. Now if we go to paper space, any one of these tabs, click on the dimensions tab, we have no line work. We just have the dimensions and the viewport that visually displays the model for us in paper space. This is a very simple example, but very clear as to what's going on. Because sometimes the lines between model and paper space can be blurred. Let's make a new layout tab. Right click on any of these here and select new layout. And that creates a layout called layout one. And typically when you do that, it will automatically generate a viewport for you of your model. Now when we create a new paper space tab, we have a viewport already made. If we select it, right click and delete it, it goes away. Now you can see here, there's nothing left. All we have is a blank piece of paper. If you want to create a new viewport, just type in the word vports, all one word, V-P-O-R-T-S. Click on the single option, click OK. Pick a point, and then pick another point. And here we have a viewport set up looking into our model. Double click inside the viewport, and if you zoom in and out with your scroll wheel, or if you use the pan command, it repositions and resizes the way the model looks inside your drawing here. If you come down here to the status bar, click on this little button here, this gives us a scale. Now this is set up right here as an eight and a half by 11 size sheet of paper. So if we pick a scale of one to 10, you can see it's a little too big. Change the scale one to 20, still a little too big. If we go 1 to 40, that fits much better. Once you pick the scale and position for the view of model space through your viewport, you want to lock that viewport. That can be found right here in your status bar. Click it and it's locked. Now that it's locked, I can zoom in and out and pan back and forth and I'm just doing the zoom and pan commands again. Double click anywhere outside of the viewport and that will deactivate the viewport and you're in paper space again. If I double click inside the viewport, I'm activating temporary model space, as it's referred to, and I can edit my model. Now, if I delete any of these items in here, it's deleted from my file. But if I don't want to show the center lines, I come up here to the Home tab, go to the Layers panel, click on this little Freeze button, looks like a paper with a snowflake, and then I pick these lines. I'm also going to freeze the circles. Right click to finish the command and double click out here. Now I am free to annotate this piece of material so that it can be fabricated and then eventually sent off to have the holes drilled and the slot made later on. So this is one drawing. This drawing of the same model has everything shown. This one has different styles of dimensions. And this one here is fully dimensioned out. If I go to model space, I have just my line work. So I created one, two, three, four different drawings from one file and one set of line work. That's the big difference between model space and paper space. Now model space, you wanna just put your model in, just the line work, nothing else. Of course, there are always exceptions and it depends on the situations. And I know a lot of people will dimension inside model space. Now, a lot of cases, that's perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that. But typically, I have found in my experience for it to be easier to maintain my drawings if I only annotate in paper space.